Hey guys, thank you for joining me for a very special episode of the What Are We Watching podcast. Now, a couple weeks ago, my daughter Melina guest hosted with me and she said, Papa, I want to watch Odd Squad. And CJ got to talk to Chris Tallman from the Thundermans, and I want to speak to Miss O. I want to speak to Millie Davis, who plays Miss O on Odd Squad. And I said, baby, I don't know if I can make that happen. But you know what? It did happen, and we got to interview Millie Davis. My daughter was so excited, she didn't speak at first, which, if you knew my daughter, you know is rare indeed. I just want to give a thanks to Jeff Bogle from Out With The Kids or OWTK.com. He writes for PBS. He's a friend of mine. He's a dad blogger and video maker and extraordinary photographer. So check him out at OWTK.com, Out With The Kids. I just want to say a heartfelt thank you to Jeff for making this connection. I really appreciate it, man. You made my daughter's dream come true, which made me dad of the month maybe of the year. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Jeff. Okay, guys, get ready for a great interview that my daughter mainly conducts with her favorite star of Odd Squad, Millie Davis. Yeah. Colin turns on the TV, Christian flips off the screen Cause there's no good children's shows that he's seen We've got dogs with blogs, superheroes in the ER All dads are dumb and kids have better PR Colin just smile, Christian sits with the scowl He complains to his son, all the kids shall suck now They sit and discuss the show's plus and minuses Why you listen or watch on YouTube to the arguments who is right? Is it the son of the death? Either way, you get to laugh knowing Christian is mad. So pull up a chair, get the corner poppin'. Here's a new episode of What Are We Watching? You wanna say hi? Hi. Hi. <laughs> I think she's too excited to speak for a minute. <laughs> You are her favorite TV star. Yes. <laughs> so just to tell you what we do, we do the podcast and we talk about a show that the kids like. Usually it's my son, but she wanted to do Odd Squad. And then a lot of times, look, us parents don't always like the shows our kids watch. So sometimes I say, I hate this part. I hate this part. And my son says, I love this. And this is why it's good. And then we argue on it. And that's what it's fun about. But I love Odd Squad. So I was happy to do Odd Squad. So that's what we did our episode on. And we made sure to pick one that had a lot of Millie Davis in it. So we thought that would be good. All right? All right. Okay. Well, she has some questions for you. And I'm just going to let her go ahead and ask them, okay? Okay. What is it like to be nine years old and work on a TV show? Well... It's pretty awesome to work on Odd Squad. Um, it's really nice because I get to meet all different um, kinds of people, and I get to work with a lot of the kids, and it's really fun to work with them. And you sort of um, get new friends on the way. Mm -hmm. Did you like playing young Oprah in the Old West? I think that was probably my... I think those episodes were probably my favorite episodes because um, you got to sort of see what it looked like and you got to wear your hair crazy and you got to dress differently, which I thought was awesome. Um, is it uh, weird to you that you have the name of like the most famous Oprah in the world? There's only like one Oprah that everybody seems to know. <laughs> yeah, that is crazy. I, I, I was laughing a lot when I heard that. Um, that's so awesome. Yeah. Did they pick that for you, or did they probably just run out of O names, right? Probably, I think so. <laughs> I think they were just trying to find a funny name, but just a name that started with an O. Well, so. I, th I think it's perfect, because Oprah seems like maybe she's bossy in real life, and Miss O is definitely bossy. <laughs> yeah. Is there really juice in the box when you are filming? Um, sometimes when I have to do bad reactions then or good like when I have to do reactions to the way it tastes then 
Yes, they make it gross or they make it delicious. But usually when I'm just sipping it, no, it's not. It's just air. <laughs> just air. So they make you drink gross juice on purpose? Yeah. And do you know it's coming or did they just surprise you? No, I know it's coming. Or when or when they try to make that eggnog juice box, it was like melted vanilla ice cream. And uh, it was like warm and gooey. No. <laughs> It was not good. That's gross. I saw you yeah. throw it. <laughs> you saw her throw it? Yeah. Throw it on the ground where the tubes go up. Oh. I read me that. I remember one thing she was going to ask you that she doesn't have written down. She said, Miss O litters all the time, and I'm going to tell Millie that she is a litter bug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she really does, but... <laughs> They changed that though, didn't they? They did. We did that a little bit at the beginning. And yeah, then... I think so. Yeah. Well, she's the boss. People will clean it up. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite juice box flavor in real life? You know what? I I like orange juice. To be honest, I think orange juice is the best because well, I like it with pulp because sometimes the pulp is like is stringy, but it tastes so good. It feels like you're eating an orange. Great. Now I'm going to have to go buy orange juice with pulp because she's <laughs> going to want it immediately. <laughs> There's a lot of odd creatures on Odd Squad. Do you work a lot with green screen? <clears throat> well, not as lot as I th not as much as I thought we would, but um yeah, usually it's just um, we don't really work with the green screen. They use um, like a pod and then they stick a tennis ball on it. So then when we look up at a creature, then that's where its head will be. And then they'll just work into it. Um, sometimes when we're doing like big crazy stuff and they don't feel like actually doing it, then yeah, we'll use green screen. But it's not as much as I thought. But the math room, that's all green screen, right? Yeah, the math room's all green screen, um, except for the thing that we stand on. The thing that we stand on is a real thing. Okay. But the outside of it is not. It's all green screen. Awesome. Oh, I don't think we um, wrote this question down, but if you could pick any other character on Odd Squad to be, not Miss O, like what would you like to do on Odd Squad? Which character? Well, I really like Oscar. Right. I think Oscar's very funny because I like science. I do like science in that. And building gadgets would probably, I would love building gadgets. That would be so much fun. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Do you wear the same outfit or lots of outfits that look the same? Mm -hmm. Um. Well, we usually wear the same outfits every day, but, I mean, they have one other copy of it, just in case we're doing something like um, dumping orange juice on our heads or jumping in the water with our suits on or doing something like that, then they'll use their backup copy that's, it's the same, but it's sort of made in a different material, so then it's, like, it's easier to use for that right. um, because we usually wear the exact same one that they made for us, but they make a copy just in case. Right. And they have to keep updating it because you're growing every season. Right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> we do. We have lots of wardrobe fittings and whenever they make um, like a crazy costume, you know, sometimes the characters get to wear a weird costume. They have to do a fitting for that to make sure that you fit that costume. So it's, it's very... Yeah, it stuff. seems to me that they picked you to play Miss O. For, well, you're a good actress, first of all. But also because you're, like, smaller than everybody there. And it's just yeah. funny. The first time I saw Odd Squad when my daughter was watching it, I was like... Why is the baby kid the boss? I didn't, you know, I was like, I didn't know what was going on. Do you ever worry that you're going to get so tall? They're going to go, oh, no, it's not so funny with her as the boss anymore. We're going to have to do something different with her. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Or you just got it, and you're like, I'm Miss O forever. Yes. 
as long as they keep hiring taller kids, then you're good to go. Yeah, you're yeah. good to go. It's great. Basically. Do you go to regular school while filming? Okay, so here's the thing. <laughs> I, like, so I get work. I get schoolwork. I have my math workbook. I have my book from school. I have all the materials from school. I have my science do a I have that stuff from school. They have a tutoring room there, and there's a teacher there. So you basically, she doesn't really, she, she doesn't teach you, but she helps you with your work. She doesn't teach you a lesson, you know the lesson, and then you just do it. And then if you have any questions, she'll be there to answer them for you and help you with it. Is so, mom, Is mom with you every day? You Usually it's mom. Sometimes it's dad. it's dad. Sometimes on the odd days it's dad when mom has to go and do something. Right. But usually it's my mom. Oh, that's cool. Other than Odd Squad, what has been your favorite character to play? Oh, my. Um, well, I think I'm going to say Daisy Wheel from Doozers, which is a voiceover show, and it's also on TVO Kids. Um, I love that character because she was so goofy, and she was like me, so she... She, um, I liked her also because she had blue hair. That was very funny. <laughs> and she was very goofy, so she was, she was mostly the person who did all the jokes. Um, so I, I love that character to play. Okay, now you're also on Orphan Black? Yes. Now that's an adult show. That's mm-hmm. a very adult show, I would say. Yeah. So how do you kind of deal with that? You don't do you actually watch that show? I know a lot of kids that do TV do watch adult TV because it's a little bit different, it's your job. But do you watch a lot of that show and and how do you talk to fans about that? Well, um I usually we sometimes um if it's like a big episode then we fast forward to where I am cuz usually most of it isn't really appropriate for me That's or the truth. <laughs> and stuff like that. So we fast forward to where um I am so we can so we can see that. Um well in terms of Orphan Black um we don't I don't really get a lot of fans for that. I mean, there's once in a while you get one person saying, oh, I saw you on Orphan Black. Um, right. But it's not like your friends watch it, right? Yeah, it's yeah. not like all my friends watch it. So. Yeah, I guess if your friend says, I saw you on Orphan Black, you would go, you have bad parents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We've seen where some parents that are Orphan Black fans then make a connection that Millie's also on their kids' yeah, favorite there, show. There was, right. um, there was a nanny that we saw, I think it was on Twitter or Facebook, and, and she said, I just realized that my the kids that I nanny love Odd Squad, and I'm a big fan of Orphan Black, and I see you on it, and then I watch Odd Squad with them, and then I see you on there. Awesome. And, uh, that's what I find really cool. How long is your filming day? Well, if they want me for a half, well, it depends on the day that they want me for. If they want me for a half day, it's usually four hours. If they want me for a full day, it's eight hours. So it's long days, but we get breaks and we get lunches and stuff like that. So we're all good. We got the energy to do it sometimes. Sometimes we don't have energy and we fall asleep. (laughs) What do you like to do when you're not filming? So, I really like to figure skate. I love figure skating. I do figure skating every Tuesdays and Fridays. To, um, I love figure skating. I love to dance as well. I do dancing on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I, I like to dance. Um, oh, it, looks yeah. like, it looks like your camera's falling. I just see your mouth. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Are you holding an iPad? Yeah. (laughs) It's heavy, I know. 
<laughs> um, so you figure skate and stuff. Do you plan on doing anything other than acting, or is that just a hobby? Um, I think those are just a hobby for now. Um, I don't. I. I'm. I'm sort of waiting to see if what things turn out. I guess. Yeah. Um, so, um, but I love acting as well. So I'm just doing both right now. But. Do you want to do more movie work, or are you happy with TV? Um, I think I really like TV because we do it for – you do it longer, and it's – some rules are longer, and some are shorter. For right. movies, you um, – you – it's sort of, like, spread out, I guess. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, it's in – weird it's weird but also for tv um usually you don't do um for episodes you do like one scene from one episode and then you do another scene from another episode so it's all mixed up right but for a movie you just you know what you're doing and you do it all just in one thing but i think i like tv better yeah. Okay, I've got a question for mom, too, since she's there. Um, what do you do to keep Millie grounded so she doesn't end up being, you know what happens, the typical yeah. TV kid that turns into, what are you doing as a mom to keep that from happening? Well, I think that for us, we that's why we try to keep her in the activities that she loves, like skating and dancing. Um, and we'll register for, you know, skating three times a week, knowing that we'll probably only get there once. Right. Um, you know, I'm also, we're very specific about if Millie has, you know, her camp show or an assembly at school or something that's important to her, I'll I'll tell Millie's agent to please let production know that Millie's not available on that afternoon because she has an event at school or a field trip with her friends or as much as we can. She gives up a lot to do what she does. Yes. But we also do everything we can to try to keep her, you know, we see, and we talk from the time that she was little and my son's in the business as well. And from the time they were young, we've said, you know, what you do is no different than someone who plays um, hockey at a competitive level or baseball or is good at cello or plays piano or is good at, at you know, a serious math kid at school. Like it, it doesn't make them, that's not who, it doesn't make them who they are. It's something that they do, but it doesn't make them who they are. Right. So I think so, that's it. So Millie, is um, mom a good stage mom? <laughs> mom is a very good stage mom. Um, <laughs> In all the good ways that that word is. Right, <laughs> right. that's fine. I'm, I'm on set um, and she's with me. I know that if I don't feel well, sometimes I get a little bit nervous to tell another person that I don't feel well. So I usually go and tell my mom and she'll tell someone for me because – that's what kids do a lot. Um, I'm sure. yeah. to tell people themselves, so they get other people to tell them. <laughs> um, and I know that she'll, she's always there for me, and it's really nice to have her on set. Awesome. Yeah. One last question. Okay. Want to come to my house for a sleepover? Uh, <laughs> 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 Come because you're in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> yep. She had her juice boxes prepped and ready to go. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thank you so much for talking to us, Millie. That's it no was, we really appreciate it, and you did a great job. The the way you deliver your lines is wonderful. I mean, I watch a lot of kids' TV to do this podcast with my kids. And you are truly wonderful at it. We really love watching you. Thank you. You want to say goodbye to your, Bye. your star here? Bye. <laughs> okay. Thanks for being a great fan. All right. Bye, Millie. Bye, Mom. Bye. Just click subscribe, dude. It's not that hard. This production is brought to you by the Plaid Dad Blog Podcast Network. For more information, visit plaiddadblog.com.